Mass Introduction for the Feast of St Francis of Assisi by Sister Jan C F S H E Respected and reverend dear father sisters and my dear friends wishes to all of you on this great joy of celebrating the feast of St Francis of Assisi To love then is to obey the whole law Roman 13:10 By underlining these words I would like to take you all to a scene through a short glance of him Dear friends as we the Gonzaga sisters or the Franciscan sisters we would like to invite you all to join in our happiness St Francis of Assisi whose feast day is on October 4 is one of the best known religious figures of all time To see the statue of St Francis in our churches and gardens is something very inspiring. On this feast of St Francis of Assisi, we would like to share about the nature of our congregation. The nature of our congregation is women religious. It is patterned after the rule and life of the brothers and sisters of the third order. regular of st francis of assisi st francis was born in a little city known as assisi in italy his father was the richest man in assisi he expected his son francis fernando to become as a great merchant st francis was renowned for drinking and partying in his youth After fighting in a battle between Assisi and Perugia, Francis was captured and imprisoned for ransom. After his release from prison, Francis began to see a vision from God which changed his life. Francis heard the voice of Christ who told him to repair Christian church and live a life of poverty. Consequently he abandoned his life of luxury and became a devotee of the faith He is the church's most popular saint He was a person lived out the gospel better than anybody taking the gospel seriously and living it passionately he followed the footprints of Jesus Christ religiously becoming an extraordinary example of Christian living in a world He lived an extremely radical counter-cultural lifestyle which included poverty, prayers, fasting, preaching the gospel. Francis cared for the poor and the sick. He preached sermons to animals and praised all creatures as brothers and sisters under God. He started to respect the universe and loved all the environment of birds and animals. He believed that everyone should live in peace and all creatures are important that everything belonging to nature should be cared for. On his deathbed Francis said over and over again the last addition to his canticle of the sun be praised o lord for our sister death. In 1979 He was named patron of ecology. He is the patron for many, especially he is the patron of animals. He is the patron of archaeologists, patron of ecology, patron of merchants and messengers, patron of metal workers, etc. And very specially, he is our secondary patron of our congregation Gonzaga. Yes dear friends on the feast of st francis of assisi we would like to share our spirit of a congregation our spirit is to follow the purity and self sacrifice of st lucius gonzaga as well as the detachment and poverty of st francis of assisi and thus to attain the fullness of joy in christ as st lucius gonzaga is our principal patron of our congregation Our Blessed Mother Mary, Saint Joseph, 
aunts and franchise of us see also will be ever our secondary patrons to support us on this great day we request you all to pray for all the franciscans and especially for our congregation our mother general and her team members all our sisters especially all our elderly sisters who lived and follow the footprints of jesus christ through the rules and regulations of st francis of assisi on this auspicious day let us pray for our pope francis the first who is also celebrating his feast day on this great occasion of feast of st francis of assisi let us all offer our intentions through this holy eucharistic celebration may god grant us a real peace love and joy through our saints and francis of assisi thank you